Hello everyone! Welcome to Yuvas on Gravity. I hope you are doing good there. Today, I am here to talk to you about checklists. Checklist, a piece of paper to e-checklist. What's so special about checklists? Let's have a look into it, shall we? Well, we have two types of checklists. The first one is the paper checklist. This is an example of how the paper checklist looks like. These are mostly hands-on. So the next one is we have the mobile checklist. Mobile checklist can either be a website or an application. Hmm, pretty interesting, isn't it? Checklist. First of all, let's have a look on what checklist is all about. Checklist is the organizer of your task to manage and verify whether the task is done or not. The simple idea used to save people's life. For example, it can remind our task or job or even the basic things to be done before a surgery, to maintain security check for a website or school supplies or even shopping lists. It's not just a checklist box, it is the simplest reminder to complete or start our job without any failures. Say no to failures, it's possible! Moving on, this COVID-19 creates a situation where most of us has to work from home. Yes, it is a good idea at one point as we get to be safer at home. But unfortunately, it is not as easy as you think it is. Imagine you have to focus on housework at the same time. A lot of planning works, less productive, taking care of your baby, job deadline passed. I know, trust me, it is a really stressful situation. This would definitely let us forget the little important things in our daily life as we are too busy. And so, I had to find for a solution to help me remember things that I have to remember. I started to make a checklist. Checklists basically help me out, sort the problems. Hopefully, it will sort it out for you too. Let me share to you the story behind checklists. If you don't already know, the founder of checklists is Daniel Berman. He is from a Boeing company. He made a research. He made a science of adverting human error. Why did he even thought of creating it in the first place? Well, on October 30th, 1935, a deadly airplane crash happened. Well, how it happened? The flight crew had simply forgot to release the flight control gas lock, causing the plane to nosedive into the ground immediately after takeoff. How could something so trivial be forgotten? In simpler terms, there were too many things to remember, even for the best pilots in the world. And so, the checklist was introduced by Boeing as a permanent and mandatory tool to be used by all pilots in Boeing fleet. These are the example of checklists that has been made by Boeing. The checklist is the ultimate plugin of mine. Is colors important in checklists? Colors plays a vitally important role in the world which we live. High chroma colors are said to be strong and low chroma colors are said to be weak. Chroma refers to the purity of a color as you can see, I have the vivid color flowers here. Color differences. As you can see, I have different tasks to be done and it has stated in different colors. Colors plays an important role on how you look at things or what they have to reach out. Colors can sway thinking, change actions and cause reactions.
what colors can do to a checklist. It can speed the visual search. Color coding often speed up the visual search. Color coding is a way to convey information quickly which facilitate visual search. Next, to enhance meaning. Bright color represents something of value. Our brains are compelled to find meaning, whether it is intended or not. Because the eyes are attracted to the bright and high contrast colors, we will drive meaning from something that stands out. Third, to convey structure. Color is often used in technical documentation and textbook to convey structure. Each chapter might feature a different color heading and a block of the same color may appear on each page, making it easier to distinguish between chapters. Next, to improve usability. The wise use of color can improve usability for everything from everyday objects to wayfinding. Consider the glaring red medical waste bags in a hospital, lab, or doctor's office. It helps to ensure that the healthcare workers will deposit infectious materials into the correct container. This concept translates well to the digital world. Lastly, to communicate mood. Color also creates moods. Compared to emotions, mood refers to a longer-lasting, milder, and generalized experience. Research shows that lighter colors are associated with a more positive effects and darker colors with more negative. Painters and photographers are good at exploiting colors value to create a moody experience. That is pretty interesting, isn't it? Checklist has to be a good one. So in order to make a good checklist, you have to know the good side and the bad side of the checklist. So in order to have a good checklist, you have to ensure that it is precise, efficient, to the point, easy to understand even in the most difficult situations. Do not spell out everything, it cannot fly a plane. Remind only the most critical and important steps. And to avoid a poor checklist, you have to ensure that it is not vague and imprecise, too long, hard to use, impractical, try to spell out every single step. Let's not do that because we want a good checklist so that we get to understand what we are trying to reach. Now, I am going to share to you some of the important tools that can be used to make a checklist. The tools that can be used for personal work. Before we jump into that, let me share to you a procrastinator tool. This is for someone who is lazy to make an actual checklist. It is called Habitica. This works like a game, so it is easier for them to work with it. You may check it out. Here, I have listed few note-taking applications that helps for personal work. It can be used in daily life. So these are the list. I personally like using Todoist and Google Keep because it is simple and has user-friendly UI. If you were wondering how does Google Keep application looks like, this is how the interface looks like. There are more examples. This is AnyDo and this is Evernote. So these are how the interface looks like. It is pretty simple and easy to be used by everyone. This is how to do is looks like. And this is OneNote. It doesn't really ask much if procedures before starting up. So the signing up process is quite easy. 
it takes only few seconds to get through it. As for the to do is, it is quite straightforward. We get to list down all the things that we want to, and also we get to add subtasks. Moving on to business work. When it comes to business, there is always, always something to remember every single time. Forgetting even the smallest thing could lead to excessive workloads. No worries, I got your back. Here, I have listed few project management applications that can help to sort out all of the problems. For example, we have Zenkit, Trello, Asana, Monday.com, Freakcamp, Nifty, Backlog, Rike, Casual, and Hubstuff Tasks. I have attached a few examples on how the app looks like to give you a clear picture on it. You can choose any platform that you find interesting or easy to use. As for me, I personally think that Trello is the easiest for me to use. We get to collaborate with our teammates easily and also just drag and move the task once it's done or when it's in progress. If I should have another choice, I would choose Zenkit. I hope this list helps you to choose the platform that you find easy to use. I'm going to share a little about what are the benefits of having a checklist. You may think, I always remember things. I don't need a checklist. Gotta stop you right there. Remember, we're all humans and we tend to forget something sometimes. This checklist is not only for forgetful person, but it's for everyone. Checklist works as a reminder for us as we don't need human to help us remind things anymore. It helps us to be more productive in many ways. Tasks to be done on time. We get to schedule what to do on what time and finish it up sooner or on time. It basically helps us to be less of a procrastinator. We get to track progress and achievement as you always state up what you are up to you get to see your progress. For example, let's say you are planning to lose weight. You start from Monday to make a checklist on what to do, what to eat, when to exercise, and how much calories to burn. And at the end of the week, you definitely will know the progress. But always, always remember to check the boxes when you are done with the task to keep up. This also will keep us away from failures. Last but not least, it reduces burden. The checklist also works best for working moms. Moms get to do all the things accurately with the help of a friend that keeps an alert on what has to be done. Checklist acts as a right hand to every person to do a daily job and also a dangerous job to save people's life. There are also are the methods that can be used in daily life which are more similar to checklists we have kanban pdca 5s andon and gumba this is andon boards it alerts humans when there is a problem most andon boards utilize color-coded cords. Green, everything is going great. Yellow, issue is detected. Red, there is a problem. Next, Kanban method. Kanban method is to design, manage, and improve the flow system for knowledge work. 5S. These steps involve going through everything in a space, deciding what's necessary and what's not putting things in order, cleaning, 
setting up procedures for performing this task on a regular basis. It is sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain method. Lastly, we have Gamba method. Go see, ask why, show respect. It is simply observe and understand process. As you can see, everything is related. All of the methods are related to checklists. All are standardized work as we have to make a certain precise procedures before doing something. But that's just how life works, isn't it? We have to always plan and think before doing something. The other method is PDCA cycle. PDCA cycle is a four-step model for carrying out change. Just as a circle has no end, the PDA cycle should be repeated again and again for continuous improvement. We have plan, do, check, and act. Plan is for establishing plans. Do is implementing plans, check, verify results. Act is review and access. It means do it again or try again. Green means go, yellow means ready to stop, and red means stop. Next, we can also use SMART to reach out for our goals. SMART is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. Well, specific meaning simple and sensible. Measurable is for meaningful and motivating. Achievable means agreed and attainable. Realistic is reasonable. And lastly, timely means time limited. Well, what method do you think works the best? Actually, all of the methods are relevant. This is all the process that has to be done before doing a project. As for me, if I were to choose other methods, then checklist, I would definitely go for PDCA cycle. PDCA cycle would be something that is easier for me to apply in my daily life. Now that we have a few knowledge on what our checklist is all about, let's have a look on why we need checklists. When you do something that involves multiple steps, it's easy to forget one or two of them. Using checklists ensure that you won't forget anything. So if you do something repetitively and want to do it right every time, a checklist is an indispensable tool. Checklists save you time because you don't need to use time remembering the steps. Therefore, you can dedicate all your time on doing the task. Checklists also allow you to delegate tasks confidently and effectively. Using a checklist is an excellent way to make our life simpler and our business be more productive. Checklists can help experts remember how to manage a complex process, make priority clearer and prompt people to function better as a team. Checklist has expanded beyond aviation and are now mandatory tools by most of the industries. What are the industries that are using checklists? First of all, we have airline, medical, logistics, manufacturing, and food industries, and also every other industries that you can think of. First of all, let's have a look on medical. This is a surgical safety checklist. This checklist is used by World Health Organization. Next, we have logistics.
these are the type of checklists that has been used by logistics next we have investments investments companies are also using checklists these are the example of investment readiness checklists moving on we have manufacturing here you go these are the manufacturing process audit checklists as we talked about investment just now here we have investor Pabrai, the founder who is named Mohnish Pabrai. He's also the managing partner of Pabrai Investment Funds, the founder and CEO of Dado Funds. They made this checklist question from losers and mistakes made from the previous investments. They ended up listing 90 odd questions divided into different sections type of leverage and failures related to leverage things. They build modes, cooperative advantages, shrinking modes, and non-existing modes. It is said that checklist is its competitive advantage. It is helped company, management, and ownership. With this checklist, they finalized their decision in just three days. So when they are done, the checklist they started to invest. These are the questions they asked before the investment. What person of company's management owned? How they are compensated? How aligned are the interests? When and where to apply checklists? Everyone needs a checklist, including student to employees and to retired parents. It has to be applied in our daily life, weekly, monthly, and yearly routine. If you have a question on where you could apply this method, question yourself. What do you often forget to do? What are your weakness? You have to learn to know your weakness. Checklist helps to overcome that weakness. This checklist is very useful for forgetful person as well as old folks. This keeps them updated and alarmed. We get to choose the platform that we need according to the task that you have. Are you wondering how to make checklists work? Well, let me help you with that. We often receive notification from checklists and Facebook and Instagram or other social media platforms, 70% of us surely will ignore the checklist notification and focus on the entertainment. So why don't we add fun to our checklist? To work, it is essential to follow. For us, we have all our office tasks, but do we complete it on time? That's the question. Procrastinator. A person who habitually put off doing things. There are two different people. First, completing things on time. Second, putting off things until the last minute. So, in order to help them to get back on track, you can make it as a game or a complementary task. Games. Firstly, we have have a board or paper near your mirror. You stick the important tasks to be done. So every time you look in the mirror, you remember what to be done. This is not hard. You do not need to do anything additional. Next, are you a chocolate lover? You get a chocolate box, you stick the note inside. And once you're done with one task, you get one chocolate. So it's each task, each chocolate. It's very fun. Next. Draw your own graph on your improvement. One task, one improvement line. If you didn't do any task at all, you draw a declining line. 
this would make it more interesting and makes you want to do more checklists. So these are the ways to help you to make this work and also it can help you to reduce procrastinate eventually. How to make an effective checklist? First of all, each item must be clear and succinct. The wording should be simple and exact. Use familiar language and professions. Next, organize the item by category. It should fit in one page. They must be easy to understand and use. Should be free of clutter and unnecessary colors. Use both lowercase and uppercase tags for easy reading. Recommend using sensory type like Helvetica. So for any new checklist created from scratch, you have to pick up the type that makes most sense for the situation. You have to keep refining the checklist. The checklist cannot be lengthy. Between 5 and 9 items, it is the limit of working memory. Depends on the context. In some situations, you may only have 20 seconds, in other, you may have several minutes. Never go about 60 to 90 seconds. About 60 to 90 seconds at a given point, the checklist becomes a distraction from other things. People start shortcutting, steps get missed, so you want to keep the list short by focusing on what's the most important points and do not overlook it. They lead to complex problems. How we can solve problems? It allows you to schedule activities and not let anything fall between the cracks. You get to schedule them on time and finish it on time. Next, how it supports daily routines. Keep all of your tasks and items to complete in one place. When you put all of it in one place, you get to know what to do and what to not do. How to use this method in an easy way? Write in a notebook or keep it in your phone to refer often. So as we know, checklists can be made in both paper or in an application, so it's easy for you to carry it everywhere you go. How to use this for complex problems? Breaking it down into specific tasks. Okay, let's say if you have grocery shopping. So when you want to go for grocery shopping, you can make a list where you have to go for a shopping list and then you can add the subtask where you list down all of the categories. How to use and where it works. Have different types of checklists. You can have a different types of checklists for work, for personal, for sports, or chores, all of that. So it's easier for you to fix the problem. My opinion. How do I use this for my business and life? As I am working from home, so this checklist makes it easier for me to chop down all of the important things before I forget it. As working from home is quite hard and it comes with a lot of disadvantages too like child disturbance having to buy wet foods having to do house chores and all of that together how do you feel about this method well as for my opinion checklist helps to organize my life better how effective it is very much because i have stopped forgetting to do my task because as I already set it up equally on what to do and what to not do and what to not forget. So it is organized and I will complete it on time. Here, I am going to show you a simple demo on problem and solution of a checklist that can be done. Okay, so we have problem, we 
have school homeworks, tuitions, get groceries, and sports. So what would the solution be? The solution is set a reminder. Here, I am using the todoist.com. To fix that scenario, as I am having a school homework, tuition, and also I have to get the groceries from Tesco. Oh no, it's Lotus now. And I have to attend a sport class as well. You were afraid that you might forget any task, so you were looking for a solution. Hmm. Solution, you make a checklist. Here, I used todoist.com. Trust me, this is a life saver. You add all the tasks to be done, and I also set the badminton time schedule so that I can remember at what time I should be doing, I should be going for my badminton class. I also added my subtask on what groceries should I get. And once I'm done with that particular task, it will automatically cross out the things that we have done. Anyways, doesn't this make life so much easier? It does, doesn't it? We have two types of checklists. First, do confirm. Second, redo. Do confirm. You do it, you stop and check, and then you confirm. You, this is the order of operation which is not critical. You do the task from memory or experience. Example, the team members perform their jobs from memories and experience, but then they stop to check the list and confirm that everything that was supposed to be done was done. Do. Read, you do it, and then you carry it out. It is an order of operation which is our critical. You read the task, you take them off. They carry out the checklist as they check them off. More like a recipe. How to apply checklists in personal and business life. No matter how much we talk put in, a checklist has to be tested in real world which in validity more complicated than expected. First draft always falls apart. One needs to study how make changes and keep testing until the checklist work consistently spend hours, pairing the most essentials. What type of things can be done in different country states? Collecting data about three months before checklist to compare the real result after checklist. Training is very important after introducing every checklist, the do's and don'ts and how easy is it to screw up everything. Using demonstration video much better than theoretical paper and slides. Communication is the key. It may help for a team to improve communication. According to Mr. Gawande, the correlation between teamwork scores and results for patients, the greater the improvement in teamwork, the greater the drop in complications. Not all agreed to use checklists in medical fields. The question be asked, if you were having an operation, would you want the checklist to be used? 93% said yes. So that's the success and need of checklists. We are at the end of this session already. I hope you are all convinced by now that checklist is a must. Checklist basically tells us what to do. It helps us to be smart in every step of the way helps us to get every single details that we need. Checklist provides a logical structure. Being able to observe progressions motivates you to keep working. You get more work done. Checklist helps your mind to think out of the box for ideas you may have not thought of otherwise. As you work through the checklist, it may become clear that certain tasks are more suitable for specific team members. 
When nothing is forgotten, the quality of work exceeds. In some cases, checklists can make a difference between life and death. When it comes to first aid, following a checklist ensures nothing is forgotten and could certainly save lives. Discipline is a hard code, the hardest than trustworthiness and skill of all professionalism. The discipline that's something that we have to work at. The technologies can increase our capabilities, but there is much that technology cannot do. Deal with unpredictability, manage uncertainty, or perform life savings operations. We are plagued by failures. Overlooked knowledge are right errors. It's time to try checklists. Try a checklist. Thank you for watching this video. Have a very good day.